Welcome to the Bayside Tower at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Last week we stayed in a Volcano Bay View room in the other tower. And so I wanted to try this week a standard, what they call a standard room uh, here at, at the resort. And I didn't get one of the lower buildings. I instead got the other tower, the tower across from the one we stayed in uh, just last week. So let's take a look at what a standard tower room is. Uh, that being said, for being standard um, and not Volcano Bay View, um, the view is still pretty nice. Um, and Volcano Bay is in the view. Uh, actually, the not the volcano, uh, but you do have the entrance. This is the entrance to Volcano Bay here. And some of uh, Orlando, there you see the... Uh, Endless summer resorts in the distance there. You see I-4. The Orlando Eye, other local attractions within view. But a good enough view of Volcano Bay to at least know if the park is busy or not. I'm actually going to head down in a few because I'm staying so close. I mean, I'm, I'm in... Volcano Bay, essentially. So I think it makes sense to go for a little bit this afternoon and enjoy it, which um, I think if you're going to enjoy Volcano Bay, you want Aventura or Cabana Bay. They're both very, very close. And if you get this particular building at Cabana Bay, you'll be just about in Volcano Bay. So a standard room, two queen beds. Thematic enough. They're pretty rooms. They're cute. Some of the protocols right now, which maybe should just be a protocol all the time, they're uh, wrapping the remote control. Uh, you also get some hand sanitizer in the room. There's a tiny vintage -y looking clock, a couple of outlets. No USB over here though, just four standard outlets near your phone here. Uh, you have a little table with two chairs, an ice bucket. Uh, you do have some USB ports on the wall, though. You got two there, four more outlets. Garbage can, your television, which uh, I actually, <laughs> the television was wrapped. Um, not because it's new. It had, like, the, uh, the little uh, sticky edges on that they had, like, started taking off, but forgot to do the rest. So this is a new TV that was just put in the room. Um Coffee maker or Cuisinart with some coffee. A lamp there. Uh, four good sized drawers. They're pretty big. Good size. Of course, you have your mini fridge. For chilling purposes only, it tells you on the door. And so that's. Uh, that's the main room. There you go. Cute enough. I, I like this hotel. I got a nice view for a standard price. It's not Volcano Bay, but you know the hustle and bustle of traffic and a look at some of these buildings. It'll be pretty at night, I'm sure. Um, the biggest difference from the last room we had other than the Volcano Bay view is the bathroom. So we do have the uh, vanity outside of the bathroom. Nice size mirror, towels. Um, one of the great things about Cabana Bay is the vintage style amenities. You know, it's a little thing, but it's very cute. This old looking zest soap, very, very cute. You have a blow dryer, tissues, all your usual stuff. Towels, I think you have drawers here to actually use. Yep, these sure, sure do have drawers, a lot of. A lot of hotels don't at the vanity. That's kind of nice. I didn't realize that last time. Um, what's noticeably smaller this time around, we have a very tiny bathroom. Um, I, I say very tiny, tiny comparatively. Um, but yeah, they're just standard. It's a standard for any value hotel anywhere, right? Um, the amenities, of course, continue here with the uh, classic VO5 and Zest in here. I'm going to jump in here. Give you guys a better look at these. The shampoo and the cream rinse. Another zest bar. 
normal size shower sliding door. Um, one thing I really like about these, the handle, uh, the you turn on the shower, is across from the shower head. So you don't have to get wet in the process. It's a nice little touch, nice little thing, but yeah. Toilet, toilet paper, mirror on the door. So you have two mirrors. Um, and we have the closet. So my stuff, my stuff's already thrown in here. Usually I keep my stuff outside. I'm here alone at the moment. Um, you know, ironing board, iron, um, luggage rack, lots of hangers, a safe, as you might expect. The shelf up there. Standard, all standard, standard stuff. And then uh, we do have a nice bit of room for bags here. There's this weird pocket by the door, which I like. All in all, for the price, staying here on a pass holder rate, I think for about 100 bucks a night, um, it's pretty good. I like it. It's a cute room. Close to Volcano Bay. Good bus service. Uh, a very pleasant place to stay on your Universal Orlando vacation. And a nice new, brand new TV. Got a brand new TV.